Hey there, this here is my Lysianthus update. Enjoy! On January 18th, I started some Lysianthus seeds and today I'm filming an update. A lot of them died, a lot of them survived, a lot of them have two in one cell. Today we're going to separate the plants that have two in one cell and give them each their own individual cells to continue growing on. My oh my, they weren't kidding when they said Lysianthus are slow growing. Yeah, they take a long time to grow. They really do. And algae is slowly taking over. Well, not necessarily taking over. There's just a lot of algae at this point. The plants need separating. We're going to put them into different cells so they can continue growing. Some of them are big. And some of them are little. Anyways, I'm really, really good at making videos. Considering the seed was two years old, I think the germination was overall pretty good, honestly. I like to keep my seedlings covered with a humidity dome until about 60% of the seeds germinate, after which point I like to remove it because the humidity dome blocks a little bit of the light and it can keep the humidity too high for some seedlings, which can cause them to damp off. Or die! Duh, duh, duh. However, I also believe that for some of these really smallest guys, probably removing the humidity dome, dropping the humidity too much, especially being beside the heat radiator, and it's winter, and it was cold, and the radiator is running at a bazillion degrees to keep us from freezing our butts off. Using my fancy cuticle pushing device to carefully remove the seedling from the container. Being very gentle. So we're using it until you're being filmed. Close up, and then it's like, oh gosh, the hole's not big enough. Oh no, the roots are sticking in. That's one tray spread out as much as can be. Now on to the next. system for such a teeny plant. Here's an update within an update. I ended up covering the cells best I could with vermiculite to help with the algae growth in the top. I must have deleted the footage of me doing so. And so far it's worked pretty well. There's a little bit less algae, there's still some. But everybody really perked up after separating them into their own spaces. And even the little teeny guys have grown uh, <laughs> a little bit as fast as Lysianthus grow, which is not very fast at all. But they're all looking great. 